Tuesday, May 1st, 12.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, a quick update on the severe weather that's already starting to unfold in the Midwestern part of the United States, extending up into Southern Canada. Here's what's happening. These storm systems have more than enough energy. It takes multiple things to create severe weather. One of the things, important components, is called CAPE. That's what you see here on Null School. That's what this off color is. Everything else is blue. That's pretty normal conditions. This here is instability. That's called CAPE. CAPE is known as convective available potential energy. It creates lift. It creates instability in the atmosphere. And there's actually way more than enough to create severe weather. In fact, it's on the extreme end. Um, we're looking at numbers that could produce 5-inch hail in multiple places beginning tonight overnight through tomorrow through tomorrow evening especially and into tomorrow night those are the peak times this place right in here is going to be crawling with storm chasers probably weathermen uh, today and tomorrow because they know look just looking at the cape alone it's more it's it's more than strong enough to produce severe weather there's an area down here in southwest Texas. I'll show you the different maps here in just a moment. This is right now. This storm system here is strong. I mean, purple is strong, but you're looking at, at areas tomorrow that are producing a uh, light pink. That's above extreme. That area there tomorrow is classified as a potentially dangerous situation. Tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening this area right here a PDS so they're pretty much saying that the conditions are a hundred percent favorable for tornadoes and large hail and that's what I was just showing you right here that area has the potential tomorrow to produce five inch hail and multiple areas of four three and two respectively and then another 211 matches in that area for large hail. So that will probably be a record storm if the model stays the same, which it looks like it's going to because the cape has not moved and that's the convective energy. It's been there for, for a while now. It's going to slowly drift to the east today. Uh, actually, it's going to stay pretty much stationary today, begin to move tomorrow evening into Thursday. And as you can see, severe weather extends all through here. This is the area of concern. Even down here in southwest Texas, there's a storm tomorrow, actually early tomorrow morning, that could produce five inch hail in southwest Texas. Just an incredible situation. This is this afternoon, and this storm here later on this evening has the potential to produce tornadoes and large hail. That's today. The rest of these charts I'm going to show you are tomorrow. There's the PDS potentially dangerous situation with regard to tornadoes and a large hail. And here it is again with one of its storm totals. I think it's this one up here that straddles the, the Kansas-Oklahoma line. It's PDS, 4.75 inch hail, 365 down to 2, and then another 133 matches in that area for large hail. And that's that whole area, not just one. One area is showing 4.75 with tornadoes that's may 2nd tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening and not only then but into tomorrow night as well this area down here in southwest texas again tomorrow afternoon and evening when this energy kind of reaches its peak okay five inch hail that's some incredible lift that atmosphere doesn't basically have a cap on it. it's going up as high as it wants to go so any moisture in the area is going to be going up for a big ride up into the upper atmosphere, and it's going to turn into hail, large hail, potentially five inches. The smaller hail is four and a half inches. And then there's another 211 matches for hail in that area. These are the significant ones. So that's uh, five inch hail has the potential to do unbelievable damage. In fact, here's an example of, of hail size. This is 4-inch hail. This was sent in by D from Alabama back in March of this year. That's 4-inch hail. 5-inch hail 
would be this size, the size of a solo cup, but round, five inches all the way around. So that's bigger than that hailstone right there. Now this hailstone is also predicted to be in multiple different places. That's a four inch hailstone. You can see four and a half, four and a half, four point seven five. So multiple ones similar to it and some even bigger. Here's another example, significant hail, four and three quarters, four and a half. These storms have a, a lot of energy, guys. So if you're in these areas, big heads up. Here's another example of just some numbers from these storms. This is significant hail. Three and a half, three, three, two, seven, five. That's golf ball and baseball size. Tornado? Yes. Significant supercell? Yes. And these are just credentials of these storms. There's another PDS. This is from the, the Kansas, Oklahoma area. Large hail. Significant supercell with a PDS. That's a, a potentially dangerous tornado. So I have a plan. Here's another one. Four and a half inch hail. Here's another one. Tornado. Four and three quarter inch hail. And these again are all different storm systems. Mainly tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Another one. PDS. Significant supercell in Kansas. Here's another one. PDS. Significant supercell tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. This is today, believe it or not. May 1st, late tonight, later on this afternoon. Look at all this hail. Five inch hail. And this is later on today. Parts of Kansas and Nebraska. 2.75, which is bigger than golf ball. Uh, multiple examples of that. And a possible tornado. And again, this is later on today. And this evening through the Midwest. So I think we have one more to look at. Possible tornado. This is also today. 2.75 inch hail. That's between my golf ball and baseball size hail. Storm system today. So... I think the common denominator for the next 48 hours, the skies could look like this. Tornadoes, tornadoes, and more tornadoes. Large hail, you'll probably see record size hail in places. So have your cameras ready and also have a plan to keep yourself safe and your family safe. Because these storms, like I showed you, have more than enough energy to produce large hail and large tornadoes. There's yet another example of a storm system, and this is just one storm system, guys, in one loop. I mean, this goes on for multiple hours. This is just one set of credentials for one storm. Five inch hail, four and three quarter inch hail, in multiple places. So once again, a PDS for this area here, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, um, and this one here too, it's small, but tomorrow afternoon, that could produce tornadoes. And all of this purple, you got to keep in mind, that's severe weather. This is extreme. So there's going to be significant lift there. It's going to produce possibly five inch hail and tornadoes in this area. So if you're in that area, be on the lookout for large hail and tornadoes. And also guys, if you can, if you can do it safely, possibly get a picture or video if you're near any of this inclement weather um, safety first by all means but if you're in a safe position to take a picture or a brief video clip of maybe a twister some large hail anything like that we are always interested in weather phenomenon so you can send those pictures if you don't mind to reports at mr mbb 333.com but remember safety first Thanks for watching guys, have a super day and be safe out there.